The American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to this edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. On today's program, we bring you a series of reports with important health information and new insight into the continual advances made in medicine. First up, we'll explore the latest innovations in non-surgical cosmetic enhancements. Next, a profile of a service which can get you back home in the event of a medical emergency. Then, we'll learn how asthma can lead to severe respiratory illness if not treated early and managed. Later, we'll take a look at how prayer and healing enhance medicine in today's world. And finally, we'll focus on the benefits of prenatal care for mother and baby. Now on the American Health Journal. What is the future of cosmetic rejuvenation for the face and skin? According to Dr. Michael Persky, the recently released Fraxel Repair Laser is the next generation of procedures to help people look and feel years younger. Fraxel Repair is a non-invasive uh, fractionated carbon dioxide laser that rejuvenates uh, skin. Um, it's actually where facial plastic surgery is moving over the next 10 years. Fraxel Repair has given me the ability in my facial plastic surgery practice to be able to answer patients who have asked me over the last 23 years, Dr. Persky, can't you just do this for me without cutting? And for the first time in those 23 years, I could say yes, um, with this non-invasive laser, in-office treatment, usually with a single treatment, we can accomplish that. Fraxel Repair uh, costs a fraction of the cost of a standard facelift. And the reason for that is the procedure is performed in the office. It's not necessary to go to the operating room. And patients don't need to be under general anesthesia. So it eliminates the need um, and the cost of an anesthesiologist. Um, it's actually quite affordable. Fraxel Repair is a fractionated carbon dioxide laser. With Fraxel Repair, because the laser beam doesn't remove the entire surface area of the skin, it leaves normal skin, the healing is much quicker, the redness goes away faster, and you can treat off the face, and it doesn't leave that line of demarcation. Um, it actually works by laying down um, small uh, hits of the laser in a pixel-like fashion, like little dots on a picture, leaving normal skin in between the laser hits so that the normal skin helps heal the lasered areas. We asked Dr. Persky to tell us about the safety of this technology. Safety is very important. Not only is this treatment effective, but it's safe. And those are the two criteria that um, I pursued in my due diligence before uh, incorporating the technology into my practice. Um, there are built-in safety mechanisms in this laser so that when it's used by a properly trained physician, it's very, very safe. Unfortunately, um, lasers today are in the hands of people that may not necessarily be cosmetic surgeons. Um, and this is a very, very powerful technology. And I, I need to say to people out there that they need to choose their physician um, most carefully because, again, it is a very powerful technology. And though it is very safe in the proper hands, um, in the wrong hands, it can cause problems. One of the nice things about the Fraxel Repair treatment is that it's very tolerable with the proper pretreatment medications. So patients will come in an hour before their treatment. Numbing cream will be applied to their face. They're given a mild uh, analgesic along with um, something to calm them down. During the treatment, the patient may feel some warm, prickling feeling as the laser is being applied. But if the laser is bothering them at all, the moment I stop applying the laser, there's no pain. And what's most amazing about this is 
once the patient leaves here and during their complete recovery, there's no pain. So no narcotics are necessary. Sounds too good to be true. Our report on the Fraxel Repair Laser continues when the American Health Journal returns. You're watching the award-winning American Health Journal. Advancements in technology may make lasers the future of aesthetic enhancement. Dr. Michael Persky describes the impressive recovery and surprising results of these treatments. The recovery period from a Fraxel Repair treatment varies from patient to patient and it depends on uh, individuals heal differently and it also depends on how aggressive the treatment is. This is all discussed in the preoperative consultation. Some patients want a more aggressive treatment and the more aggressive the treatment the longer the downtime will be. In general I tell patients they will be red for a week and that redness will fade over the following two weeks. So anywhere from a week to three weeks um, patients, are, patients are usually back to their normal appearance. We asked Dr. Persky to tell us about the results this laser promises. The results from Fraxel Repair um, vary once again from patient to patient and it depends on how aggressive we are with the laser. Um, it does give patients that wow result. Like when I show patients before and after patients of other patients in the consultation, it's wow, wow, wow. And what's nice about it, the patients look like themselves. They don't look plastic pulled. They just look younger and more refreshed because it tightens lax skin. Um, it takes care of uh, sun damage and brown spots on the face as well as red spots. And it smooths out uh, wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, uh, mouth area, um, so that patients look and feel much younger and their friends tell them that they look rested, um, don't really know why they look so much better. What distinguishes myself from other physicians performing this procedure is that I've had um, extensive experience with the traditional carbon dioxide lasers over the past 17 years as well as being a facial plastic surgeon um, perfor who performs blepharoplasty, rhinoplasty. So it's, I think it's important to have the knowledge of what CO2 lasers are capable of, um, how to take care of patients in the postoperative period, um, as well as having that finesse around delicate areas such as the eye. For teenagers, acne treatment is um, going to be the big application of repair. For the elderly, um, I see many patients who want to look rejuvenated, yet they have medical problems that aren't going to allow them to undergo uh, general anesthesia or um, be in the operating room for a long time. And with this procedure in 30 minutes, um, with a great profile of safety, we can rejuvenate them by 10 to 15 years. What's significant about Fraxel Repair is that there's an initial uh, actual removal of skin as the laser vaporizes skin up to six to eight grams for a face and neck. Um, but more importantly, over the four to six months following the treatment, there's stimulation of collagen. So patients, although they look great after a week or two, um, the, the maximum result from the treatment is at four to six